All right, guys, this is the official product training section of the Friday webinar. And what we're going to be covering today is the Forrester's Plan Right Final Expense. Guys, this is an awesome product. We really do have a great variety of carriers, a great portfolio, if you will, of carrier, carriers. Forrester's is one of the, the great carriers. If you haven't looked at them, uh, go ahead and take a look at them. Uh, certainly not there to uh, replace any carriers you, you may already be using, but certainly something, it, you know, there may be a situation where Forrester's may be a great fit for your client and you didn't know about it. And this webinar is just to give you that information, give the education that you need so you'd be more, uh, more knowledgeable on this particular uh, product. Uh, Forrester's does ha have a very uh, robust website easy biz this is a uh, a sample of the website uh if you if you go into their um the 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 plan right that's the name of their final expense product there's a lot of great information there's some tutorial videos uh the great training information the other thing cool that's uh that's kind of cool about foresters is i don't know if you've ever called there but all of their sales associates are all licensed agents which is kind of unique. You don't get that from other life insurance companies. So when you call in and you're asking for some help, the person that you're talking to is an actual licensed agent, okay? And they are extremely helpful um, on the phone. One of the most courteous and, and most helpful um, insurance companies that you'll ever find. Now, this is kind of a snapshot of the product. I'm gonna highlight a couple of things. And guys, we're gonna kind of go through this kind of fast. Um, let me get my pen here. All right, so the Forrester's Plan Right comes in uh, three levels of coverage, if you will. And I'm going to circle these up at the top, okay? It's, it's kind of like a cascading application. They have a level benefit, they have a graded benefit, and then they have modified. Now, level is pretty straightforward. Um, if they get approved for level, that's immediate coverage, same day. Um, just like every other every other company. The issue ages are from age 50 to 80, and it also comes with the common carrier accidental death benefit at no extra cost. Common carrier means is that if they um, uh, you know, if they die in a uh, a wild passenger on a uh, something that they paid a fare for, like a a bus or a plane or a train. And they die, it's gonna uh, the benefit is gonna double. There's also uh, an accidental death benefit rider that's available. That rider is only available on the level benefit. Now, this the one thing that kind of is for some agents kind of confuses them. They also have a graded benefit. Now, with most of our companies like Transamerica, Mutual of Omaha, and, and some of the other ones, when we hear the word graded we automatically associate that with the first two years, if they pass away, all they're gonna get back is return of premium. That's not the case with Forrester's. Forrester's is a little bit different. Their graded policy means if they only qualify for graded, and it's right up here, it's maybe kind of hard to see, but if they die in the first year, they're gonna be eligible to receive 30% of the death benefit. So just as a quick example, if I write you up for a $10,000 policy and you get graded with Forrester's, you die in the first year, they're still going to get a $3,000 death benefit. In year two, if they die, it's going to be a 70%. So in that same situation, on a $10,000 death benefit, let's say they die in, their, in the 15th month, they're going to get a $7,000 death benefit. That's really quite good. And then their, their, uh, the last plan is what they refer to as modified. Now, modified is their, is their say, their lowest ranking, if you will. That's uh, what we're used to as far as graded. That means it's just going to be return of premium. If they die in the first two years um, due to um, an illness or natural, you know, natural causes, it's going to be return of premium. They get all their money back plus 10%. Okay? That kind of gives you an explanation of that. Uh, issue ages for the level and the graded 
is age 50 to 85. So even on their graded plan, you can go up to age 85. That's pretty good. And then the maximum face amounts. If it's level, the maximum face amount is 35,000. And if it's graded, if they're between ages 50 and 80, it's 20,000. And if they're 81 or older, the maximum benefit would be 10,000. And then for the return of premium or the modified plan, uh, 15,000 is the maximum, or maximum benefit. And if they're over the age of 80, they will not be considered for the product, okay? Now guys, all this information is available on the, the website. Okay, Planwright Foresters, the mobile app. They do have a mobile app. It's very easy to use. Um, I'm just gonna give you an example how you use it. Uh, these are all the different products that you can quote off their mobile app. So it's not just final expense. You can quote their, their Advantage Whole Life Plus. You can quote the Strong Foundation. You can quote Plan Right. You can quote the Smart UL. In this situation, I'm going to quote Plan Right. That's the final expense. So I'm going to click that button right there. This is the screen that's going to come up. It's automatically going to default to Alabama, age 55, male, non tobacco for 15. That's not what I want. I'm going to put in my state. I'm in Illinois. My client is 67 years old. It's a male. It's a non-tobacco. He wants 15,000. I click right. And I'm also going to do the accidental death rider. I click the quote button. And then, boom, it's going to give me the quote. And you do this all right on your phone. So uh, right here, level benefit with accidental death benefit. It's uh, $97 a month. or uh, $1,111.50 um, annual premium. If I want the level only, that means not including the accidental death benefit, it's only going to be $92. And also, it's going to go ahead and give me the graded rate and the modified rate as well. And if you want to go back and do another one, you just click return and it'll take you back to where you started. So, guys, very, very easy to use. Okay. And then Foresters at this time does not have a e application, so it is paper only. Now, here's kind of a flow chart, okay? Uh, and we're going to get into the application here in just a minute. The application, because they have three different levels, because they have level, they have um, graded and modified, it's, it's a cascading application. So when you're filling out the application, if all the questions in part A are no, then you're going to move on, okay? Um, you, if now, if any questions in Part A are answered yes, they're not eligible. You stop there and you look for a different product, okay? But if all questions in Part B, that's the second question, are answered no, you're going to move on. If all questions in Part C are answered no, they're going to be qualified for level. However, if any sections any questions in section C are answered yes, they're going to be qualified for the graded. Remember, the graded is 30% in year two, 70% in, in uh, it's 30 in year one, and then 70% in year two. Now, if they answer any questions in part B, so you got through the, the initial knockout questions, and they answered any questions in, in part B yes, um, the best they're going to be able to do is modified, which is uh, return a premium in the first two years. Okay? Pretty simple, I think. Now, this is the application. Guys, I think this is one of the easiest, most straightforward applications um, out there. Just read through the, um, the questions thoroughly. Make sure that you're filling everything out on any application. It's always important. Don't leave anything blank. Uh, one thing different about Foresters than some other companies maybe is that they do ask for height and weight. So if you're not used to that, make sure you're getting the height and weight. Make sure you check um, on the the build chart. Make sure that within the, the parameters, there's nothing worse than submitting an application. And you find out that your client is, you know, two pounds over and they, they don't get qualified. But remember, this is Section A. So if they answer yes to any of these questions in Section A, they are not going to qualify. Okay, you got to look at a different product. 
as long as they answer no, then you just move on. And most of these are done in time frames. So uh, section two, if they answer any of the questions uh, yes in section two, the best they're going to qualify for is the modified. So as long as you can get through these questions, and then you can move on to section C. Section C, as an example, I'll just read some of these. So if they have Parkinson's or systemic lupus, SLE, uh, liver or kidney disease, or conditions such as, or such as uh, chronic hepatitis, or cirrhosis of the liver, you check a yes here, they can still get the graded, which is pretty good. So you can actually take someone that has, um, let's say, uh, chronic hepatitis as an example, um, and they can still get the graded, which means they still get a 70% or 30% death benefit year one, 70% 70% in year two, or COPD, chronic bronchitis, or emphysema. So just make sure you go through all the uh, all the health questions on here. Uh, up at the top, this is where you're putting in which plan are you choosing? Are you choosing the level death benefit? Are you choosing the graded or is it going to be a modified? And you're just putting in the, uh, the amount. If you're choosing the accidental writer, you mark that in there. Very, very, very straightforward. Easy, easy app to fill out. It's not very redundant. Make sure you get all the proper signatures done. We'll just kind of go through here. There's really nothing uh, tricky on their application that I think that we need to point out. Very straightforward. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of skip through uh, skip through the application here. Okay. Just make sure you fill everything out. Now with Foresters, there is a required phone interview done through Aptical. Okay. Here's the phone number. Um, make sure when you call in, make sure you have your Foresters writing number. They are going to ask you for the writing number. And guys, there is there is virtually no time of day that you could possibly be writing business that you're not going to get a hold of Aptical. Uh, now, this phone interview is required at time of sale. You're supposed to do it while you're in the home with the client. I don't believe they like three-way calls. So don't write the application and then do the phone interview three days later. Okay, They want you there when you're doing it. Look at the hours of operation. Um, Monday through Friday, they're open from 8.30 in the morning, and this is Eastern time, I believe, 8.30 in the morning till 2 o'clock in the morning. So I don't see where you'd ever be running business where it wouldn't fit into those time frames, okay? On the weekends, if you're like running business on the weekends, they're open from 10 in the morning until 10 at night. So there's really no reason ever that you wouldn't be able to get the phone interview done. Now, one of the unique things about Foresters, and I believe they still do this, um, one thing I like about their, their program is that you do get an approval on the spot, okay, which is always nice. It's always relieving to know when you're leaving the house that your client's going to be approved. The other thing that has been done before, and I'm almost positive they still do it, and that is... Um, if your client, if they answer no to all the questions, but there's something that comes back and there's a hit on their prescription check or MIB, um, they will let you know basically what it is. They'll either let you know what question it is um, or they'll let you know potentially the medication. OK, um, as an example, if it's in the let, let's say you thought it was going to be for preferred, uh, but it comes back as graded. And they'll say, well, it's because of how this is what the information we found in relation to the prescription history uh, doesn't match up with this particular question on the application, or they may actually tell you the medication. OK, so which is kind of cool, because then you can get clarification. And if it is a um, Forrester's will overturn decisions. Now, Aptical does give you a decision, but Forrester's does reserve the right to overturn that decision. So. Just as an example, if, if there is a medication and maybe it's a, uh, um, you know, a dual use medication like 
I'll give you an example, gabapentin. Um, most people um, take gabapentin because of diabetic uh, nerve pain, neuropathy, okay? But there are certain situations where a client uh, could be taking gabapentin because of, of, of nerve issues like back pain or things like that, that they have been prescribed. So an example like that, and you know that that prescription uh, is not in relation to complications due to diabetes, um, you can write up a letter, write up an explanation, send it to Forrester's, and there's a, I'm not saying you will get it overturned, but there's, you at least have a shot at getting it overturned um, with Forrester's. You can make your case, in other words, with Forrester's. Uh, like I said, they do reserve the right for final decisions. Uh, Aptical is not the final word with Forrester's. Um, so really enough on that. I think we got clarification. Application submission. Um, as far as I know, there's only one way to submit an app. There, you may, there may be an email address. I don't have it handy. You can contact Forrester's, get clarification. Uh, but when I write a Forrester's app, this is how I do it. I just fax it into that number right there. Uh, so um, write that down, have it handy, so you can fax in your, your Forrester's um, application. Now, we're, I'm going to cover a little bit of underwriting, and we're going to go ahead and end the call. Guys, we're already, uh, we're about five minutes over. If you want to hang on, if you need to go, go ahead and bug out. Um, this section of the call, this will be recorded, and it will be on the website, the Senior Solutions website, by Wednesday of next week, okay? But I'm going to go into um, a few little health issues where I think Forrester's really shines, and I'm going to circle this is the Forrester section right here. And then this is the Senior Solutions uh, cheat sheet. So level benefit, anybody that's, if, if they've had a heart attack and it's been over two years, um, it's gonna be a level benefit. Heart surgery, they could have had you know, quadruple bypass over two years ago, um, you, you, you should be good to go. Stroke, should be good to go. Congestion heart failure, decline and that's an ever question so they ever had it so if they had congestion heart failure even if it was 20 years ago and somehow they miraculously got cured of it um by the grace of god it's still going to be declined um afib this is pretty cool um forsters does not care about afib or an irregular heartbeat okay which means they're pacemaker friendly as well so if a client had a pacemaker, as long as that install was over two years ago, then they should be good to go, okay? Um, COPD, it's graded all the way, okay? Which means it's the 30% um, um, year one, 70% year two. Oxygen use, um, really is, I mean, they could have been on oxygen, but let's say they're not currently on oxygen now. As long as it's as long as they haven't been on oxygen for over a year, you can get a level benefit. Of course, Alzheimer's or dementia, that's a decline. Um, they're they're bipolar depression friendly, so they could be on all kinds of medications for bipolar uh, and uh, depression, and they're going to be okay. Parkinson's, they're okay with it, but it'll be graded. Cerebral palsy, they're okay with it. Um, the reason why there's asterisks there is because if they have cerebral palsy and it's really like an advanced case where they need help with activities of daily living, then it could possibly be declined or graded or modified. But if, if the person has a uh, cerebral palsy and they really don't need assistance, if not, and they don't use a walker or wheelchair, they can still get around okay, you can get them a level benefit. And the same thing with multiple sclerosis as well. Um, so they really shine in those two areas as well. And then th this is the last sheet. Um, let me go ahead and circle this so we know what we're talking about. Forrester's is very um, diabetic friendly, if you want to say. They really don't have a look back as far as like the age. They just want to know how it's controlled. And they really don't care if you're on insulin. Um, you could have been on insulin basically your whole life as long as um, it's under control and you haven't had complications like diabetic um, 
you know, no, no diabetic coma or insulin shock, of course, and no uh, uh, neuropathy or any type of, comp you know, amputation, no complications. It's a, it's a level benefit regardless of when you started that. Now, if you have, if you have neuropathy, um, the best they're going to do is modified. So you definitely want to look at a different carrier there, but very diabetic, diabetic friendly. Kidney disease, it's a decline all the way around. Internal cancer, guys, they have a three-year look back. A lot of companies that we work with have a four-year look back. Foresters, it's only, it's three years. So as long as they have not had um, any treatment within the last three years, you can get them approved uh, for a level benefit. Um, let's see, lupus, that's graded. Wheelchair use, guys, I don't, not wheelchair friendly at all. Decline pretty much all the way around, okay? And then blood thinner, which is, this is something new that we put on here. It's not listed. Um, I talked to an underwriter yesterday. Mm, I'm gonna tell you this, my opinion, uh, Forrester's not very blood thinner friendly. OK, so if you had, as an example, you had a client that had, uh, you know, bypass surgery three years ago, but they're on blood thinners like Clavix, uh, probably not going to get a good score. Uh, they're probably going to consider that as a treatment versus maintenance. So I would definitely look at a different carrier on there. Um, weight questions, they do have a build chart. They're pretty liberal. As an example, if you're 5'8", you can be as heavy as 292 pounds and still get a uh, preferred level. And of course, there is a required phone interview for Foresters. So guys, that's your overview. It's a, it's a great company. We like Foresters. They also have a lot of great benefits, uh, free benefits. It is a um, non-for-profit fraternal organization. So they're required to give back to uh, back to the community re, uh, required to give back to uh, their their policy holders. So there are some additional benefits your client may be entitled to. I would double check on those benefits. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the product. I like Foresters. Definitely take a look at it. And if it's a great fit, you know what? Add it to your portfolio. It's a great company to represent. So guys, thank you for being on the call today. I know we ran over a little bit, but I appreciate everybody. Everybody have a great weekend. God bless and uh, take care. Thank you.